You've gone through something recently that's been rough. It's been tough. It's been a hard road. And you might feel like you're in a place right now where you can't even see the light at the end of the, tum the tunnel. Because it feels like you're in so much, <sighs> there's so much maybe pain that, you, that you've gone through, that you're experiencing right now. And it could be a culmination of things. It could be that you thought something was gonna work out. You thought it was gonna work for the best. And then it ended up, you ended up getting punched in the face. Maybe you went through a betrayal. Maybe you went through a, a loss. Maybe you're going through grief right now. But what I want you to know right now is that your struggles that you are going through, that pain, that darkness that you were in, is a sign of the inverse. See, everything in this universe operates on polarity, right? The more darkness that you've been through, the more that, <laughs> that you are able to then see the light. And when you take this struggle that you're going through, when you take your adversity and you flip it on its head and you say, hey, look, maybe the reason that I'm going through this right now is to actually be a voice for others, be an inspiration to others. Maybe it's to be an impact for others to say, hey, look, my struggle is the more unique that you think your struggle is, probably the more common that it actually is. And I've come to find that the more that we go through stuff, the more that we are forged by the, the kiln, the fires of life, the more, the more refined our character becomes. The more, you know, a diamond becomes a diamond because it's a coal that's gone under an immense amount of pressure. And that's what you are right now. You're like a, a coal that has been exerted tons and tons of pressure on, and it is sharpening and hardening your character into that of value. It's creating a valuable person and somebody that has value to bring into the world. So maybe your struggles that you're going through, whether it's an addiction, like I said, whether it's grief, whether it's loss, whether it's betrayal, now you are a, being forged into a light that is there for others. And you may be, may be chosen, chosen, <laughs> like a lot of people talk about on YouTube, you can be chosen by choosing to change those adversities and turn them into your greatest strengths. Maybe you're going on this, maybe, you're, maybe you've been called to shed light on a struggle that is actually a lot of people can relate to right now. There's a lot of people in pain right now. There's a lot of, there's more unhappiness in the world right now than there has been in such a long time. There's more people on psychi psychiatric medita medication, more unhappiness, more suicide rates. There's more crime, more violence. There's all the war going on on the planet. There's all this toxicity. There's all this negativity everywhere. Maybe the struggles that you're going through, you were meant to go through so that you could be an inspiration to others and say, look, we can, turn this, we can turn this around. Maybe if you're going through alcoholism, you are meant to create a program to help others get out about being alcoholics. My uncle died from alcohol poisoning. I've had so many people in my life that have died from drug addictions, so many friends of mine that have died. And they never took it upon themselves to say, look, how can I use this to, you know, I." When you, when you let go of that victim thinking, when you let go of that victim mentality and you embrace the pain that you've been given, the pain that, you, that, that God or the universe or whatever you wanna call it has, has put you through, and you decide to become the author of your own story, you decide to stop giving your power away to the external and, say, and adopting all these narratives that get pushed on us, like, oh yeah, you know, you've been, you've been, more, you've been treated badly and you've been doing this and, and yeah, like, you, no. Like say, look, I'm gonna grab my I'm gonna grab myself up by the bootstraps, whether you're a man or a woman, grab yourself by the by the nuts and decide to be who you wanna be. Stop taking in all this information as oh yeah, no, you can't do it because you're just a victim. Reject that completely. Reject it completely. Decide that you are going to become that version of yourself. You are going to work on yourself. You are going to rise from the ashes, turn into that phoenix and be an example for others so that others can take what you've learned, take the lessons that you've learned on this journey and stand on your shoulders. And for everybody out there that's watching this, you have that ability. I know that you've been through some shit just by the fact that you're here, you clicked on this video. 
And the fact that you're listening still lets me know that you actually are somebody that wants to improve yourself. You want to be on this journey where you take those losses, you take those L's and turn them into lessons. So take those lessons and be somebody that other people can stand on, that other people can be a man or a woman of your word. Be an embodiment of the person that has gone through those things that wants to be a shoulder for somebody else to lean on, shoulders for somebody else to stand on, for somebody else to improve their lives. And I promise you, it's going to be rewarded. You're going to be rewarded for your efforts because karma is real. You put out positive energy, you put out positive intention in this universe, you're going to get it back. Start embodying that man or that woman that you want to become. Start embracing all of the, the things, the trials that life gives you and using them to your advantage. Start practicing alchemy. Start turning lead into gold. And I promise you, you're going to come out the other side and you're going to be so happy that you went through that bullshit. You're going to be so happy that those people fucked you over. You're going to be so happy that you learned those lessons and that you, it gave you power because you're not looking at things through that lens of, oh, woe is me anymore. That distorted, that distorted bullshit lens where everything is just like, oh yeah, all the glass is always half empty. Nah, it's half motherfucking full. And it's time that you guys start embracing that fact by, by realizing the power that it's giving you. A lot of people that go through life, they want everything to be done for them. They want everything to be easy. When you start going through life with the embracing the fact that life is actually fucking hard, there's actually a fucking lot of bullshit that you gotta deal with, mud that you have to wade through, people out here just conniving and bullshitting you, you're gonna come to the, to the point where you're able to read people better. You're able to get a better handle on yourself. You're able to better master your emotions. You're able to better be a master of yourself and therefore become a master of your reality because reality reflects you. And when you come at life from this pers perspective where you've embraced your power, you are looking at life through your lens, not the lens that has been determined by others. Now you are embracing true power. Now you are at the cause and not the effect in your world. And that's what I want for you by watching this video. Take this as a sign that you are on the path, that you are becoming that person that you wanna be. You have the power within you. You don't need to look for it externally. It, is, it does not exist outside of you. It exists within you. And the more that you cultivate this, this inner strength, the more that you are going to see it reflected in your outer reality. The more that the, your, outer, your outer reality is going to reflect it to you. See, you clicked on this video for a reason. And if you're still here, there's a reason why you didn't skip to the end. And you're gonna take this and you're gonna run with it and it's going to inform the rest of your week. It's going to inform the rest of your month and it may inform the rest of your year. You may, you may look back on this year realizing, yeah, you know what? All of this stuff that I've been through, all of this BS that, that has just been on my path is actually my greatest gift. And that's what I want for you. Take it as a gift. Embrace it as a gift. Embrace acceptance for what is, what has happened and turn your story into a comeback story. You have the power to do that. You have permission to do that. And you have, by the grace of God, the grace Aholism of the universe, is getting you, you are, you are the one that is going to do it. Nobody else. With that being said, guys, much love as always. Drop me a like on this video. Drop me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And I will see you guys in the next video.